Click for IB Biology, we're going to be looking at what are called atypical cells, cells which place a challenge to the accepted cell theory. There is a blank PDF of my presentation down in the description, along with 10 questions with answers so that you can check your understanding of the content that I'm laying out here. So let's look at these challenges to the cell theory. So we discussed earlier how with deduction we could say that all cells, uh, sorry, all living things are made of cells. And then we have an idea of what a typical cell should actually look like. And one of the classics is the idea that you should have one, there should be one nucleus for a eukaryotic cell anyway. And yet there are multiple challenges to, to this. And the notable ones can be found here in skeletal muscle cells. So you can see the muscle cells running from uh, left to right. And notice how large they are. Um, but each of those black dots that you can see are actually nuclei. And so skeletal muscle cells are multi, multi-nucleated, which is not what we ordinarily understand the cell to be. If we then take a look across here at the aseptate fungal hyphae, so a hyphae is a tube, it's a tubular structure, and aseptate means that um, the tubes which are form the fungal cells, they are not sectioned off into individual cells. The walls are incomplete, much like in the skeletal muscle cells. And once again, we have multinucleation within these fungal cells. And so we've got one long, continuous strand of cytoplasm extending through the entire fungal hyphal structure, which again is not the way that we ordinarily uh, understand the cell structure. So the number of nuclei is the first challenge. The second challenge is uh, the, the cytoplasm. The idea that cytoplasm is restricted to one one cell. And we previously saw in plasma desmata that this doesn't happen in plants either. And then you have curious examples of things like red blood cells, which many students will know uh, do not have a nucleus. So a, a eukaryotic cell ought to have a, a, a nucleus. And this is what we normally believe. However, red blood cells don't. That needs to be qualified because when red blood cells are developing in the bone marrow, they do have a nucleus. And that nucleus expresses the genes and the necessary messenger RNA. And whilst the nucleus degenerates to create more space for hemoglobin, the messenger RNA is retained to allow the cell to function. However, the functionality of a red blood cell is limited to about 120 days because it's, it doesn't possess the uh, genes necessary to uh, to repair the cell and to, to regulate its continuous function. And so after 120 days, it dies. So no nucleus in this case. Multiple nuclei, no nuclei. And then, of course, we come across to some very strange structures like we find in the phloem sieve tubes, where this is one cell here, and then we have another cell here, and what we find is that not only has the cytoplasm been radically reduced, it's, it's not entirely gone, but it's significantly reduced to create this tubular structure through which plant sap can be moved from one part of a plant to another. But when we compare the connections between one wall and another, and you can see it between my the two blue lines here, we have these sieve structures like this which are called sieve plates or sieve tubes, through which the sap moves and curiously moves in one, in, in possibly in opposite directions. Now, certainly the phloem is able to reverse the direction of the movement of the sap. And so these four items significantly challenge our common understanding of the simple cell structure and rather than us having to uh, reject cell theory 
We know that the origin of all these cells is other cells. We know that they have DNA, at least initially. We know that they're um, capable of supporting their own functioning. And so what we have to do is we have to extend our understanding of the detail of what organism cells are and how variable they are. But the theory that all living things are composed of cells is still retained. Links to the next video are appearing in the in the window now along with that to the channel so you can subscribe should you wish to and of course to the playlist for the complete list of videos in this particular part of the course.